In this video, we are going to find the exact value of inverse cosecant. In our example, we have y is equal to inverse cosecant of negative 2. And we want to find the exact value of inverse cosecant. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take the cosecant of both sides. So we get cosecant y is equal to negative 2. Now we know that cosecant y is the same as 1 over sine y. So if I write that out to the side, we know that c of cy is equal to 1 over sine y. So all we have to do is take the reciprocal of the right hand side and say sine of y is equal to negative 1 half. So the next thing we want to do is ask ourselves where on the unit circle does sine of y equal negative 1 half. So if I draw a unit circle, we know that at 11 pi over 6, and we also know that this location is also negative pi over 6, we have coordinates root 3 over 2, negative 1 half. And we also know that at 7 pi over 6, we can also call this location, if we go into the negative direction, it's also negative 5 pi over 6. And our terminal points are negative root 3 over 2, negative 1 half. Now we know that the sine takes on the y values and the cosine takes on the x values. So looking at our y values, we see that we have negative 1 half. However, there is a few more things that we have to consider. We have to consider the domain and the range of inverse cosecant. So what is the domain of inverse cosecant x? The domain of inverse cosecant x is from negative infinity to negative 1 union from 1 to infinity. And the range of inverse cosecant x is from negative pi over 2 to 0 union from 0 to pi over 2. Okay? So now we need to look at our unit circle. This location would be 3 pi over 2, but if you go into the negative direction, you can also say that it is negative pi over 2. And of course, up here it's pi over 2. So right away we see that we need just this right side of the unit circle. It definitely satisfies our domain because negative 2 is within the domain. However, the range is what we're going to get out here for y. So which one are we going to choose here? 11 pi over 6 or negative pi over 6? Well, we need to stay within the range and only negative pi over 6 satisfies the range because if we were to choose 11 pi over 6, we would have to come around and it would go outside of our range. So negative pi over 6 starts here and comes out where the terminal points are positive root 3 over 2 and negative 1 half. Okay, so we are going to choose negative pi over 6. So this means that our y is equal to negative pi over 6. And that is how you find the exact value of inverse cosecant. Thank you for watching and always remember that you are awesome.